Hey guys and welcome back. Today is fun because I am starting my pantry reorganization and I have a lot to do today. If you are looking for some pantry organization inspiration or you just love organizing videos, then this video is going to be perfect for you. The question for today's video is what have you organized lately or plan on organizing in the future? Leave a comment below. For all of our food storage, we use this one small closet and then also one cabinet. And if your pantry looks like this, congratulations, you're normal. I think everyone's kind of looks like this at some point. So I wanted to spice things up literally, and get some fun jars, and I got most of them um, from Ikea. I had some already, but most of them I found at Ikea because they have so many options, and I really like the containers that Ikea has that has the tight ceiling lid, but you can also find containers that are flat if you want to stack some of your containers. I just love the various options they have, and also these bamboo lids jars. I love these i think they're so pretty and so i got a few of those but mainly the ones that i got are the tight locking seal jars and then i also found them at target as well if that's more convenient for you and target has a, a few sizes as well one particular thing that i was looking for in my jars for this project was nothing with writing on it or anything like that i wanted it to be a flat surface because i had some labels that i found on etsy so that way i could label everything in my pantry so i got my labels from etsy from this company i think it's called the dwelling company and it's just a small business and she creates these beautiful labels and there's different sizes there's different font styles and i just love them you can even customize them so if you have some special pantry items that are not listed she will make them for you so i love this and then i also got some spice labels as well because i wanted to redo all of my spices and if you're going to be shopping labels and you are supporting a small business like this i highly recommend leaving a review it always means so much to them especially if you love the product it just really keeps them going it's just an easy way to make someone's day the first thing i wanted to do was take out everything so that way i could clean the shelves because if i was going to make everything pretty i at least wanted it to be clean as well so that's the first step that i did and then after i finished cleaning the shelves i started by labeling all of the jars my biggest tip for you if you were doing this is use painter's tape i mean I just feel like maybe I gave myself too much of a headache with this, but I just wanted to make sure that they were all perfect. Not to say that if you make a mistake, I couldn't take the labels off because I definitely could, but I at least wanted to get it right the first time. So the painter's tape really does help. The only problem that I ran into with the IKEA jars was the jars were a little round in some spots, so my labels did get some air bubbles in them, but for the most part I was able to get them out. I got my spice jars from Amazon. I love the quality of them. I love that they bring um, a little funnel. They also bring their own labels. So if you didn't want to buy separate labels, there's options for that. And then I also like that they have the little tops so you can still do your little dash or pour. So they were great. And I forgot that the package came with the funnel. So I used actually these funnels from the dollar store. So I just used those and then I filled them all up, which was, let me tell you, the most satisfying part of this whole process.
also thought it would be a lot of fun to show you the jars in action in real life after filling them all up, how they're actually used. So I wanted to show you my quick little vegan recipe for chocolate chip cookies. It is my favorite recipe. I will link it below. It's a Betty Crocker recipe and just look how pretty it is to make cookies. <laughs> I don't know. I just love how pretty it is and it just, I don't know, I just think that it's also going to be so much easier when restocking our pantry items. We can actually see what's in the container, how much more of something we need and I just know that this is going to be a life-changing game for us when it comes to baking and cooking. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like this video, leave a comment below if I inspired you to do some pantry organization or bake some cookies, leave a comment below, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys, you can eat a cookie now, John. Delicious.